Then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today we're going to learn how to draw Simba, and this will be the adult Simba from Disney's The Lion King, seeing as how The Lion King is going to be released, the live action one. I'm very excited about this movie. I'm actually going to turn my paper this way and we're only going to do his face and his mane and like the top of his body. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a square almost. So I'm going to go ahead and make this square. After this square, I'm going to go ahead and just bring out this part and then round it back down. And I'm going to round out this part as well. After that, what I'd like to do is just kind of roughly place everything. So we'll go ahead and straighten this up later, but I just want to go ahead and jump around. So I'm going to jump in the middle of here. I'm going to go ahead and just jump around and then bring down one part of his mane going this way and then another part of his mane going down this way and then out and back in. After this part, I'd like to jump around and just bring back here. I'm going to bring back this part as well. So we have everything roughly placed, so let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and draw the details in his side of his face. So I'm still going to make that eye guideline right across. See, I'm just going to make it right across. Now, animal Disney animals are a lot different from Disney humans, and they have a little bit more extra with their eyes, especially. So let's start with this eye over here. On the eye guideline, I'm going to bring this part up. And bring it all the way back to here. And I'm going to go ahead and just round off this bottom right here. Then I'm going to jump on this side as well, go down into here and then bring off this side. It all looks very strange <laughs> at the moment. So I'm gonna just jump inside of his eye and erase that guideline a little bit more. What I wanna do is I wanna go right inside. I'm gonna go into the corner, jump back here. I'm gonna round off this part of his eye. So you see, I go, I leave a little bit of a section and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cross off this section here. All right, then I'm gonna jump inside, bring up this part of his eye and then circle down. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a nice thick top eyelash line. I'm going to go ahead and give him that pupil iris area. So I'm going to jump inside, give him that iris, give him pupil, and then a little shine in his eye. And I'm going to actually darken up this part a little bit more underneath his eye. And then I'm gonna jump on top of his eyebrow and we're going to make it, this is his eyebrow line, this top little box area. We wanna make it nice and thick. Right on top, you're going to bring out this side, kind of curve it around and make a nice thick eyebrow. After that, you're gonna jump over here Okay, so for his nose, you know, we're going to round this up just a little bit first, bring it down. Then you're going to jump up here, make this a nice thick eyebrow line as well. Then we can only see a little bit of his eye over here, so we're going to jump over here. Just make that thick eyelash line and a little bit of his pupil all the way off to the side of his face. All right, now for his nose from the side, 
You're gonna bring down this part and you're gonna round this down right here and you're actually gonna start coming back towards his eye and the thing is that this part and this part should be on the same like it's leveling up. It does not connect but it should be headed in the direction of his left eye. So this part is actually going to curve down. It's going to curve down and then it's going to go out and back in to his face. So it goes back into his face and actually goes up and then out and then it's going to go back in. So from this spot right here, his nose, we're actually going to bring it down to a corner, bring it down to here, bring this part of his nose outwards, bring this in, and it's actually going to go up over that line we made. nose. Now from his nose there is a line that's going to go straight down here. One part's going to go off to the side. It's going to go down and that part's going to go up into his little muzzle and the rest of this part is going to go down going to go up. So we have this part of his nose, this line here, and then this line. So we can get rid of this part inside, this part. And then you're going to jump inside of his nose, give one nostril here, and one nostril here. Now these, so one nostril here, so fill this part in, and then fill this part in. And from his side of his face right here, Jumping back up to the side, just shaping it up a little bit more. It's actually going to go down like a slope into his eyebrow and into his eye. This little spot right here. There we go. And then it's going to come outwards and back in. Now there is no, from here, if we get rid of this guideline there, here, and here, from his smile, there is no definite line, but there is a section of coloring from his muzzle. So from this line here, going up, you have a section of his face that is white-ish. It's like a cream colored, and it goes down. So it goes out, in, and then down, and we have a little bit of some hair texture down here. And this part of his, his eye should be coming out just a little bit and then back in. And just shading it up a little bit so this line should be pretty dark going into towards his muzzle and this part is darker here as well as over here and his eyebrow should be going off to the side
bring down his jawline just a little bit and back in and you want to make sure the good old like fur lines at the bottom of his face so we just have a couple right here and then this leads up into here bring in this nostril I'm gonna bring inside the inside jump in here and then darken up this spot So let's go ahead and shape up that hairline a little bit more. So starting from his right eye, you're actually going to just jump on the side, go up, and make a middle part. So you see how I start from his right, his left eye, you go up, and make a meeting part, go off to the side over here, bring off the side up here, bring down this side, into his face. Then from the middle part you're going to go up and then circle back down into this section right here. After that you're going to keep going backwards from here and you have another section here. Bring out this side, and you're going to start to curve down from here. And bring this down, so you curve down. Now from up here, you're going to go from here, we're going to jump off and start shaping the other, the right side of his, his mane. So from the second section, you're going to curve up. Curve up, just stop, and I'm gonna come right back. Curve down. And I have a couple of other sections off to the side. And I'm gonna bring, I'm actually gonna make like another meeting spot for here. And now this is where it gets a little interesting because he has like these flurries off to the side. Bring this part out. And bring out this part. And you make just wispy, so you go out. And then we're going to keep going down. And then underneath his chin, you're actually going to bring down this part underneath his chin. So from right here, underneath this part of his face, you're going to bring this part down and back up into his face. So it goes out and then down, and then this part will go down. Alright, we're going to stop there for a second and come back to up here, back over to the left side of his mane. So it goes down and it's going to go out and then we have his shoulder that starts right about here so from coming down from right here I'm just going to kind of match up line up with where this little part of his little whiskers is going go down over here we have one shoulder blade one shoulder blade here and then one part of his back going down. You want to just keep going down. Ready? Then this part of his mane back to here. You're gonna make sure you make it nice and like rough. It's not just a straight line. You want to make it flowy, masses of hair. And 
we come down to here and you're actually gonna go like this where you make like little triangles almost and it should line up with this part so But then there's more because there's more hair underneath him. So you're actually in it from this part where you started. You're going to bring down this part of his leg and bring down this part. And I'm actually going to go back over here where this part's going to keep going down. And I'm going to jump off to the side and bring down this shoulder blade as well. So this is his leg right here. And this is his back. So from his shoulder blade right here, this part where we started to go out a little bit, you're gonna go ahead and go right back down. Now back up to here, where his ear is, we have to actually draw it first. From his eye, you're gonna go up just a little bit, and you're gonna go ahead and bring out one little triangle. And you actually have a part of his mane that's cutting it off just a little bit. So you see we have this part of his mane, and then his ear is like a little rounded triangle jump inside and give another little rounded triangle and then go ahead and fill in this part. Now shaping up his hair a little bit more he has these adorable bangs that kind of hang in front of his eyes so from this bang area right here you're gonna bring in those bangs just a little bit And then from his face, you're actually gonna go inwards, bring, shape up that mane around his face a little bit more. And you're gonna kind of curl in this part here. You're gonna bring, so from this area right here, you're gonna bring this down, curl it, and then back into that face. Now another huge thing about Simba, you want to make sure that that's nice and dark. I'm actually going to cut off this part just right here. And make sure it's nice, a good, really solid part right here. So a solid beginning to his mouth. Kind of bring that down, make it flow just a little bit more. There we go. And you definitely want to keep the line in the middle of his nose. Keep that part too. There we go. You just want to make add a little bit more flow everywhere. Another big thing is he has little whiskers because he is a ginormous cat. So from here, from this cream area of his face, you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And jump over here, and you don't really have to go right onto the white part, you just go one, two, three, four. Let me grab some colored pencils and kind of show you where the colors are laid out.
there you go there's how to draw simba from disney's lion king now this of course is from the cartoon and not the live action but hey the live action is gonna look awesome and i'm so excited hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great day bye